Yeah, frames. Okay. All right, so this is my review on the finals. We are going to play, go ahead and get into a match. So far, what I like about the game, it's different, okay? It's it's like it's like what Hyperscape tried to be, except it's better. I mean, it is way better than Hyperscape. Um They put a lot of work into this game and for a beta, it's beautiful. The graphics are great. It runs smooth. Um Everything just feels nice to me. I mean, it just feels like a nice game to play. Um, I'm on keyboard and mouse. I, I like, see, you know, I, li I like my, I like my controller, okay? And the controller support in this is busted for now, but I'm sure they're going to fix it. Um, they've been working on it and wanting people to play it, you know. So, um... TTK is a little long. I would like it to be shorter, but headshots do reward, and I think that's what they're they're getting to. I think they want you to headshot people. I think they want you to focus on a certain area of the body, like most games. Um, the game modes, uh, there's only really one. I mean, they're cash out, and I, I, for one, I'm not a huge fan of it. Of course, I'm not a fan of that. Um, I'm not a fan of that kind of game mode in any game so that's not a knock towards them um and it is coming it's coming to ps5 and series x and s as well so we'll, we will definitely see controller support for this game eventually you know for now i i think they're just trying it on pc to get their feet wet see what it looks like um but so far they've done a phenomenal job okay i could not ask for a better game i mean for a beta like, this is one of the best betas I've ever played. And Dustin Neon being another beta I've played. Uh, actually, I believe that one was an alpha. I, I may be wrong. But it was not buggy. And this is this is less buggy than uh, Dustin Neon. For what I can see, you know. The game is fun. Overall, Just just it's just good. Um, so we're going to get into some gameplay so that you guys can see what the game looks like how it plays the characters the guns look good so let's get in here so this is a simulation um and the objective of this game is to get the most money or of this game mode anyway is to get the most money and win essentially and everything pretty much everything about the world is breakable so like it's i believe in the arena. like the i could break this wall here and yeah like that see i can break either. that wall here contestants might want to put on their hard hats as the arena is under and, construction this match. you know like if i need to get in here i just you know i'm just do that and like that boom i've got a hole in the wall so and it's smooth i mean there's no bugginess to this game i mean it feels good no frame rate lag um, so like, I killed one, obviously he's going to go ahead and revive. So you can revive your teammates in this. That's one of the A things you can do. For the boundless um, team wiped. That you can have an immeasurable impact on revive. The Apparently my teammate decided to get team wiped. Um, and if you get team wiped, there's a dock, so you get minus 50% cash. So, and cash is the objective of the game. You want cash to win. So, so like, apparently my team decided that we only need two players. So, we're probably going to lose. But right now, we are... Uh, this game is good. It looks good. It plays good. The guns feel good. The M60, I love uh, I love the gun choices in this game for being a beta. I hope they add a lot more. Um, team Wipe also resets the entire team's respawn count. That's right, yes. A Team Wipe does reset a team's counter. So, so you have to be aware of that. So 
like that, I can destroy buildings, see? I made that team fall a couple levels. Lead for the lie wires. Wow. Okay. A wipeout and a setback for the big splash. So now I gotta wait 16 seconds to respawn, even though my team isn't even playing. I got put on a team of people that don't play. So, um, but yeah, the headshots are rewarded, and There's that guy hit every now. single headshot the that could have been hit. The so bolt. I got destroyed. The lie wires have kicked off the cash out. Teammate is not playing, so I guess I'm gonna. Wires will need to reboot. Team wiped. No. So. The kingfish are initiating a cash out. Obviously, I'm not winning this game because I have nobody on my team. Um, so we're just gonna exit out of that because I. I refuse to lose like that. Um, but they do have a battle pass in the game. So you can get different guns and things, you know. So, like, if I wanted to, I could reach battle pass, unlock battle pass. Oh, okay. So I unlock the battle pass here. And they give you credits. So, like, I can claim this. And boom, just like that, I've got 1,400 credits, right? So, so like they give you they give you a bunch of it in the battle pass, so you can easily buy it. Um, and then they, you've got skins for your AK. You've got uh, emotes, essentially. You've got a sushi keychain for your gun. You know, if you if you're into that sort of thing, I am. I love sushi. Such such yumminess in the sushi side of things. Um, You've got skins, so like if I go to the store here, there's a bunch of skins you can buy. And they give you a bunch of premium currency while you're playing, to just to see, you know. Um, so like I've got metallic whorls. Like, I don't have it, but I could buy it if I wanted to. Um, the, the bullet loop holster, the style bundle. So like this is a whole bundle. You get the Cupid's Question and the Loaded Cherub, which is a, a uh, AK. Um, you've got the mask... Mogul, the dueler, all these different things, which are freaking awesome, right? Um, Obsidian Point, Bamboo Brawler. Like, they've got so much stuff in this game. Like, this skin right here. This is freaking awesome right here, right? So, like, I'm going to go ahead and buy this just to show you, you know. This is currency that you can use that they give you. So, look at that. I can equip all of this. So, like, I am a skeleton now with fucking shit coming out of my eyes and my teeth light up, all right? Don't you wish your teeth could light up? Okay, there are a lot of games that don't do that. There are a lot of games that don't have skins. That, like, the only other game I can think of is Fortnite. Um, what else can I show you? There's character creation. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to it. Um, let's see. I do not see. Um, let's see. Contestants. Right, okay, so I can... It's like my heavy bill. I can do my style, right? So I am this guy right now. So, you know, I've got... So, like, I've got a type 1 and a type 2. One of them is a female, I believe. So that's probably... Anyway, so we'll go ahead and equip that. You can do your face. So like, there's different faces. Obviously, you can't... 
see that because I've got a mask on, but there's different faces you can have, different shirts. Like every single thing. So this is like um, PUBG, in my opinion. Um, this part of the game. Very much like PUBG. You can, there's different outfits and you can change everything about your character. There's different poses. It's like, this is what you do when you get into the game and if you win, that's what you'll do when you, you, when you win, of course. Then you've got your emotes, so like, you know, still proof, and then he opens it, and yum, 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 you know, he drinks, stuff like that. And then you go to your loadout, so like, I've got a flamethrower, um, an, M an M32GL, which is a six-shot revolving grenade launcher, and eventually I'll get the SA-1216, which is a two-fed magazine shotgun, if you've ever played Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 2, you know what that is. Then, he, then he's got all this equipment he can have, like an RPG, C4, night vision, explosive mines, incendiary grenades, goo grenades, gas grenades, frag grenades, flashbangs, incendiary mines, and dome shields. That's pretty cool. I mean, the, I mean, this is kind of like Apex meets, meets like Overwatch, like uh, I believe Kumi said in the stream. But that's pretty cool, and that's not the only class you've got a light build so like if i go to edit here you'll see what guns i get so like i've got the v9s which is a semi-automatic pistol an m11 30-06 sniper assassin there's a sawed off shotgun and a sword and then they get uh specials so like this one gets grappling hook or evasive dash and then the, the equipment so there's a stun gun on this one and a proximity sensor other than that it's all the same oh and a cl glitch grenade this one has then we'll go to the medium build. So, like, if you go to the medium build and you click at it, you've got different guns here. So, like, you can have a riot shield, a repeater, an R357, and a pump action GL, which is a, you know, a pump action grenade launcher. And then other than that, you get a jump pad, a gas mine, an APS turret, a defibrillator, a tracking dart, a glitch trap, and a zip line, and also a sonar grenade, which is different. So each one has different things that it does, right? So it's, it's like if I wanted to use the outfit, I'd have a skinny dude with shit coming out of his eyes. But uh, each one has something different about it, and I think that's cool. I think this game could be big if they work on it. Um, they just have to, they just have to smooth it out a little more. You know, they've got the, the, the I work on cars, so like they've got the first layer of Bondo on there. They've got it smoothed out. They just need to add another layer of Bondo and smooth it out, okay? That's all they gotta do. And then it'll and then the game will be perfect. They're real close. Now mind you, I have heard, I don't know it to be true, but I have heard that this is made by the people who worked at DICE. Um, they're the ones who did um what do you call it? They're the ones who did Battlefield 4, Battlefield Bag Company. They're the ones who made the shit that breaks the destroyable environment they're the ones who worked on that so that's why this game has that in it it's also why this game looks phenomenal they did a great job with the graphics on it um and a lot of people play test it for free is unreal i would charge for this that this game should be charged for even at its current state i'll be real but i think they're gonna make it free to play and i think that's the right move for them because i think in these types of games, they'll make their money on the store and the battle pass. Um, so, that's my review of the game. I think the game is amazing as it is. I would recommend people play it. Now, you have to request to play it, but just request and wait. They usually will let you play it when they have a play, te play test and it will automatically go into your Steam library. Um, other than that, that's all I have to say on the game. Um... Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time I do a game. Hopefully soon.